Angular 3 is dead. Long live Angular 4! Hi, let's talk today about Angular version 4, React Native and Vanilla JavaScript free course. I'm Anatol and you are watching the good parts of the front-end development. I propose to pay attention to another report from Google Dev Summit 2016, namely Advanced Service Worker by Jake Archibald. He shared the future of the web application model with foreign fetch, streams, etc. If you're keen on mastering the Thruya library, but you find an official documentation too wordy, then you might be interested in D3 in-depth book. It's written by Peter Cook and aims to bridge the gap between introductory tutorials and the official documentation. It consists of the following chapters – selections, data drawings, enter and end functions, scale functions and shapes. It focused on version 4 of D3. I'm definitely going to use it. Wes Moss has added a free JavaScript course, a 30-day vanilla JavaScript coding challenge. It consists 30 tutorials. These lessons really heavily upon browser APIs, most of which involve interaction with the page. I personally find this course fascinating. The code is available on GitHub. Andras Toth posted a next chapter into a Node.js at scale series, namely JavaScript clean coding best practices on Rising Stack blog. In this blog post, he covers the general clean coding principles for naming and using variables and functions, as well as some JavaScript specific clean coding best practices. JavaScript is becoming the dominating technology on the web front and back sides, and even finding its way into the Internet of Things space. Because of cats, performance should be on the first place. Therefore, Benedict Moyer published a comprehensive investigation of the current state of benchmarks, namely the truth about traditional JavaScript benchmarks. Recently, Nathaniel Bazal has posted an article JavaScript Observables Under the Hood. In this post, he described the observer pattern, its implementation in JavaScript, and how it can be used in real-life coding. A month ago I mentioned Angular version 3. Now forget what I said. It had been completely cancelled. Angular 3 is dead. Long live Angular 4! Yuri Strumfloyna added his explanation on AngularJS blog. He proposed to call a new version just Angular, without any title. Angular team follows the semantic versioning and presents a schedule for further releases. The next big release is planned for March 2017. Wait for a moment, why it's not a version 3 due to rotor? Hmm. It has version 3 already, isn't it? Perfect. Now they just have to synchronize all the versions for all the packages. React ecosystem became one giant leap for the web development. No wonder that it's spreading across the other spheres. React Native is a framework for building cross-platform applications. I propose to your attention getting started with React Native in 20 minutes by Scott Domes. In this article, he covered a lot of the basic concepts of React Native. You can find his post on Medium. If you're eager for this topic, you can learn about this framework on reactnativeexpress.com. Inside, you can find the following topics. React Components, Core Components, 
component libraries, data management and others. There are also exercises for some practice. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and watch other episodes. This is all for this week. Thanks for watching and stay curious.